fuck it. I don't really know what I'm doing, so don't make fun of me too much. So, starting a new house lot. We're uh, doing the driveway at the moment. Taking out topsoil. It spins. This is pretty freaking cool. So I'll show you in a second. Digging buckets over there. If you can see it. Uh, I haven't gotten used to the controls. They're, uh, like I said, a little bit different. There's a bucket. So we're just using one of the six wheelers uh, as a haul truck on site, basically. The driveway, once I spin around and show you, you'll see why, because it's about 420 feet long.
over to there and we're just going to stockpile it so the house is still way up there uh, then you have septics on this side uh, so we're stacking it here because we're going to need fill on the side of the septic and then I'm going to strip the house area and put it on the uh, uphill side so uh, dumping right over there pretty much no more skid steer needed which is nice so I bought this attachment eliminate equipment eliminate labor go faster and I'll tell you what just having a grading bucket what a world of difference I like how you can swing it around grade like that Trying to put out like six to nine inches of gravel. Just the first coat of it. So, just trying to make it so in case it rains and uh, cement trucks got to get in here, they're not going to have a problem at all. my 
everybody leave the gate open just to speed things up. It only uh, lets you put like a half a bucket less in, so it's nice and flat up here. Stuff isn't going to really fall out. Holding it up by the uh, stacking it all up by the uh, headboard. Pretty good. All right, so uh, we stripped that whole side. I've uh, stripped this of grass. I've realized uh, the loam up in this part is better than uh, some spring loam that I buy. So I pulled the uh, grass off and I'm gonna save a good amount of this separately. Uh, so then when I go back to spread it out later with the skid steer, I don't have to deal with all the uh, grass. So we're dumping this in a separate spot. Uh, I also popped off the uh, tilt rotator. Uh, because I don't really need it and it just adds weight so pop that off that's the beauty of it let's take it right off and uh, I was keeping it on because we were spreading the gravel it's nice to spin the bucket around uh, but the gravel is all done so pretty good we've uh, graveled about dugout and gravel about 400 foot of driveway and uh, I hope to have about half of this area stripped by the time I'm done in the next two hours. So, this is the uh, reason I spent the money to uh, get the quick oil, is to take the uh, rotator off when I don't need it. And also to be able to put it on maybe a future machine because all I'll have to do is buy a uh, quick oil coupler and then the rotator can be moved uh, between the machines. And, okay, so we are done stripping. I'm just going to regrade the road because we've driven over a whole bunch of times on my way out. So you can see, nothing pretty, but it works for uh, stripping. I think we've hit ledge, so this is no sense in spending a whole bunch of time to make it look nice. this out. We'll be done for today. It's a Saturday. It's time to relax. So thanks for watching.